How does a housekeeper save hundreds of thousands of dollars on almost no income? What's the investment that's going to grow your money whether you're starting with $10 or $10,000? In this video, I'm going to reveal the power of compound interest investment. I'll not only show you what compound interest means, but we'll reveal three investments you can use to grow your dough fast. We're talking compound interest today on Let's Talk Money. Beat that. Make money. Make your money work for Creating you. the financial future you deserve. Let's Talk Money. Joseph Hogue with the Let's Talk Money channel here on YouTube. I want to send a special shout out to everyone in the community. Thank you for taking a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Now we hear about compound interest all the time and maybe we've even seen it a little bit in our bank accounts, but few people know the real power of compound interest investment. It's just hard to get excited about 35 cents interest in a savings account. Osceola McCarthy has a slightly different perspective. Now Osceola was born in Mississippi in 1908. She spent the better part of her 91 years washing clothes for others, living in the same house for almost 75 years and saving her money. Now, even living the frugal lifestyle though, the money made from doing other people's wash isn't the kind of job that makes you rich, but, but in 1995, Osceola donated $150,000 to the University of Southern Mississippi and still had more than hundred grand in the bank. You can get rich on any income and that's the power of compound interest investment. In this video, I'm going to explain compound interest and walk you through the formula. We'll talk through a couple of examples and then I'll reveal three of the best investments to make money on your money. We're not talking about growing your bank account by a few pennies each month. I'll be showing you three investments with compound rates upwards of 10%, the kind of interest that will grow your money fast. But what is compound interest? You know, Einstein called compound interest the greatest mathematical discovery of all time. I just call it the easiest way to financial freedom. So here's the formula for compound interest, but don't let the math fool you. This is one of the easiest ideas to understand. Compound interest is just your money times an interest rate and how long you let it grow. But it's that time factor that's the real power here because you don't just add the interest you earn every year onto your money. Compound interest is about making your money work for you. It's the money that you make on that interest. So let's look at an example here. You start with a thousand dollar investment making 5% a year. Now after that first year, you've made 5%, so an extra $50 on your account. Now that second year, you make another 5% on your original $1,000, but you also make 5% on that $50 that you earned in the first year. That means you make $52.50 in that second year. Now an extra $250 isn't something most people would get excited about, but look at how this money grows. At the end of six years, you have $340.10 more in the account. That's $40 more in compounded interest, 40 bucks extra that you made off of that interest. Take this out further though, in over 30 years, you'd have over $4,300 in the account. You'd earn just $1,500 in that annual $50 interest, but over $2,800 on the compound interest returns. And that's on a relatively low 5% interest rate. That's about what you're gonna earn on bonds, but take this further with an 8.5% compound return on stocks or, or some of the other investments that I'll show you later and just watch your account explode. Just that 8.5% compounding return on stocks is gonna mean over 10,500 in stocks over 30 years all from one single thousand dollar investment. Now another question I get a lot is just how do I get that compound interest? So, so you get compound interest in any investment or account that pays a return and then you leave your money in the account to grow. Uh, and one of the greatest things about compound interest is that it works on any amount of investment, whether you're starting with ten dollars or ten thousand. Now banks do offer compound interest, but how much are you really making on an average 0.1% savings rate? Even the 2% interest from some online banks is barely keeping up with inflation. Now, this is actually how Osceola made a lot of her money and God bless her, she grew an amazing fortune on those savings. But even her own advisor has said that she would have been a millionaire if they had started compound interest investing sooner. So what I want to do is show you three compound interest investments that you can use to grow your money faster. First though, a feedback question for the community. Uh, what other personal finance concepts do you want to see covered here on Let's Talk Money? We're talking those day-to-day -day financial decisions like buy versus rent uh, and credit card rewards programs. Are they worth it? Scroll down and let me know in the comments what personal finance questions do you want answered? Now onto those three compound interest investments and the next step up from a savings account is going to be bond investing. Now bonds are just debt issued by companies or governments paying interest twice a year and then returning the amount borrowed to the investors at the end of that loan. So you get that regular interest payment that, that compounds twice a year and you get rates of 4 to 6% on some fairly safe bonds. You can invest in individual bonds or go with my favorite and get thousands of bonds with this one fund like this iShares High Yield Corporate Bond ETF, that's ticker HYG. 
Now this fund pays a 5.3% yield and has actually produced a total return of 7% over the last decade. So that means you'd have made money on the share price as well. Now the bond fund is well diversified across the major sectors and a little overweight in some of those safer sectors like telecom and consumer goods. So you don't have to worry about defaults from a particular sector. To see the power of compounding in this bond investment, look at how just $200 a month grows over 30 years. On just 72,000 invested over three decades, you'd end up with more than a quarter of a million dollars. Now that's over $150,000 profit on compounding returns. And what I want you to notice here in this chart is that that line just gets steeper over time. That's the power of compounding interest. If you were to let that line run 40 or 50 years, it would go almost straight up earning you so much money every single year. Now those of you in the community know I couldn't get through a whole video without talking about dividend stocks. Besides paying that consistent cash flow every quarter, dividend stocks just beat the market with amazing long-term returns. Now we've been beating the overall market with our 2019 dividend portfolio of individual stocks, but, but for this video, I wanted to look at an easy, no stress dividend fund for those compound returns. So the Schwab US Dividend ETF, ticker SCHD, pays a 2.9% yield and charges one of the lowest expense ratios you'll find at about 0.06% a year. The fund holds shares of some of the biggest and best dividend payers like Intel, Procter & Gamble, and Coca-Cola. Now that 2.9% dividend yield may not sound like much, but this fund has produced a 10.2% annualized return over the last five years. Taking our example of investing 200 a month over 30 years, that becomes nearly 410 grand in your account. That's a profit of over $337,000 on that 72,000 invested over the three decades, more than twice what that compounding returns made in our bond fund. Now our next compound interest investment is a controversial one, but stick with me because I'm gonna show you how to get nearly 10% cash flow to grow your money. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is just like bond investing, except you're lending money to people rather than big corporations or governments. Now borrowers fill out an application on sites like Lending Club and, and investors choose which loans they wanna fund. Borrowers make a monthly payment of principal and interest, which Lending Club then collects and automatically sends it to any investors in the loan. Now the risk is higher in P2P versus that bond investment that we talked about earlier. The average rate on loans in my Lending Club portfolio is around 12.6% and I made an average of 9.6% annual returns over the last four years. Now that means about 3% of the loans I invested in, actually 13 loans in 400, have failed to pay in that time and that 9.6% return is closer to 8.5% over the last year. But that 8.5% annual return with our example means we grow our portfolio to almost 300 grand over 30 years and a profit of $226,000. Of course, the 8.5% might not sound so hot against that 10% annual return in the dividend fund, but understand that you want to diversify your investments. Having all your money in a stock fund, even a great dividend fund, sets you up for some major losses during any market weakness or a stock market crash. Peer lending returns will also be volatile around a market crash, but they're not going to fall as hard as stocks. You'll still get that monthly cash payment from the loans being paid off, and you still get that compounding return working for you. Click on the video to the right here to see how I created a portfolio of dividend stocks that will make you millions with that idea of compound interest investing. Seven companies that pay dividends and grow their stock price. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.